Okay, so I'll do a video on how to relieve karmic burdens and how to basically, at, at the very least, redirect your life to where you can feel comfortable with the decisions that you make and also you can start to allow yourself to release patterns of of patterns of being and patterns of thought and patterns of action um in order to be able to ascend to a different uh i guess level of pattern in a way uh because really all these things are made of cycles and patterns so um all these karmic patterns work like fractals in a way they all kind of uh build off of each other and so if you can actually like go to the base ima imagine you're building like a, a jenga tower of emotions and thoughts and things like that and uh you've kind of started it out with an unstable base but you've been trying to stack onto this for a long time and you see that it's leaning a lot but you don't really know what to do and then all of a sudden you're just like okay let's see what happens when i take out this bottom one and then the whole thing collapses so that collapse could be considered as a negative meaning like all of my previous work that i put into this has now gone to nothing and now I am uh, destroyed because my creation has been destroyed. Or you can think of it as a new beginning. And you can think, okay, now it's this, this is my time to make a stable base for myself. And now that I know how to build a Jenga tower, I can do it more efficiently. I can do it faster. I can do it better. And I can have fun doing it. And that's where the difference kind of lies, is um, these karmic burdens don't come from the, the physical circumstances that you're experiencing. They come from your, your interpretation of the experiences that you're experiencing. So your karma doesn't lie in your, your physical experiences. Your karma lies in your mindset. And that's one of the big tricks to releasing karmic burdens and patterns is to understand that all of this karma is not something that's happening to you. It's something that you're creating for yourself. And there's a level of empowerment there, but there's also a level of fear that some people sit in when they don't want to take responsibility for everything that they create. And that fear causes more and more blockage of that energy and therefore, that fear will manifest itself more and more in different ways until it's released. And uh, it's really interesting how some of this stuff, how some of this stuff works, but to release karmic patterns, you don't need to, uh, hold on. Excuse me. Sorry, I had like a thing in my nose. Anyways, but to release kar karmic patterns, you don't have to you don't have to let me let me reset for a second sorry okay <laughs> back to the center so releasing karmic patterns is something that you can do through just changing your mindset about life so when you start to look at things differently then your external reality will start to reflect the things that you think about more clearly and it's always a very clear reflection, but a lot of times it's reflecting the distortions that you've built up in yourself for a long time. So instead of it reflecting beauty and the radiance of your true inner being, it's reflecting the human ego that you've attached yourself to. Uh, and so when you can start to re-identify with the whole of everything instead of just the ego then you can start to move yourself into the space where 
things don't carry another one things don't carry a karmic burden or attachment or negativity um i just walked straight into a spider web right there uh anyways so but these things they, they'll stop carrying so much of a karmic burden because they're consciously being addressed so the trick also to releasing karmic burden is to start to consciously understand what it is that you're feeling and choose in that moment to feel something different than what it is that you're being presented and that will give you a sense of empowerment and a sense of of uh can do attitude in a way because you'll start to see that you can start to kind of uh I wouldn't say control or manipulate, but like you can start to accept feelings because you don't have to just like redirect the feelings. You can also just allow them to move through you in a way. Because a lot of times if you just like immediately redirect a feeling and you don't take in what it's trying to tell you, then you can have kind of problems with uh, in integrating that. But, um, you know, you need to take in the feeling fully and then allow yourself to feel it, but don't take any judgment to it. So even if it's a really negative feeling, um, what I mean by like find your, find something that will pull your attention somewhere else, like I go walking barefoot because for one, you can feel the ground all the time and that's already 50% of my attention now redirected to my feet. And um, you can also, it, it just, it helps to, pull energy into me and then it also takes that that stagnant energy and it pushes it out of my feet oh my gosh there's so many spider webs right now um releasing karmic patterns releasing karmic patterns okay so there's other things that have to do with this which is something along the lines of understanding and seeing the uh more of the whole of things so if you're having a lot of negative karmic patterns come up, then I think that maybe one thing to do would be to start taking in more uh, directions of attention or thought. So what I mean by that is taking both sides of a story or taking more information about one thing and don't just direct your belief systems into one stream or direction because that limits the amount of information that you're able to intake. So broaden your stream of information flow to the point where you can start to take in any type of experience with a smile and you start to see all of the lessons and the positivity that's underlying in all of these experiences and the more that you start to see all of your experiences as being positive the more that your karmic patterns will literally just dissolve because they're not necessary anymore to show you these negative patterns in yourself because you've now started to integrate the lessons that you're being taught in this lifetime. Excuse me. But there's also, there's so many different ways that you can release these patterns. You can, it's all, it's all about changing what you do, changing the who you are and what you are and your identification. So if you feel like you're having a lot of negative patterns as being who you are, then instead of changing just your name or whatever, like change your identification as mean, meaning like, don't think of yourself as being your past self. Realize that your past and your future are all both, um, they're all being projected from your mind. They're not real. So you can recreate yourself to be whoever you want at any time, at any point. All you have to do is just redirect your focus into being who you want to be rather than focusing your energy on who you think that you are now um, and what you think is bad about that. Uh, there's so many different things. You can focus on good, good aspects of yourself and then start to tell yourself every day all these good things about yourself. You can, that's like positive affirmation and things like that. You can start to um, do empowering things and maybe just like force yourself into doing something that you used to love doing and just see how you feel about it after you start. Um, there's so many different things that are possible. You can start to walk and just like allow yourself to 
kind of be in your mind and try to let yourself be comfortable with yourself being in your mind by yourself without having any kind of external um kind of influences meaning like no cell phones no no speakers no no anything like that you literally just walk with yourself in nature and that's it and there's so much stimulation in nature that it should be pretty easy to keep yourself stimulated by just looking around at stuff so and then also just like feeling the ground is a lot of stimulation in its own right so that also helps a lot too um Karmic burdens really are, are something that has to do with your mindset about the way that you are experiencing everything and the way that you kind of like feel and think about things and the way that you react to things. So if you can change your reactions as well, meaning like stop and pause before you react to something and then give a conscious kind of um, response instead, then that will start to release those as well because then like the reason why you have a lot of these negative karmic burdens is because you haven't changed the things in your consciousness in your mind that are causing you these pain and suffering uh kind of experiences so you have to change these kind of mindsets about things and then stop looking at things in a negative attitude in order to be able to um move more into a positive paradigm um, it's imperative that you have to to allow yourself to see things in a positive light otherwise you're never going to be able to get out of the trap of a spiral of negativity um the the whole trap of negativity is it convincing you that it's a that it feels good or it's okay to be negative because of whatever reasoning that it has but all of that is bullshit you have to allow yourself to feel happy and to feel fulfilled without having any kind of external thing like just the fact that you are here is enough that just the fact that that we exist is is plenty enough for uh for revelations and happiness and love and joy and everything um we've just lost sight of this this direct knowing because of all of these different games that have been presented to us through society and things like that so this is a conclusion of my message today but i hope you guys got something from that and i hope that this helps a lot so have a good day and bye, -bye.